Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm Robin Nicole, the Inspiration Specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. I just want to say thank you guys so much for consistently joining me and hanging out with me here on YouTube. It's wonderful. I greatly appreciate it, y'all. Tell me how y'all doing in the chat. What's up? What's up? I just wanted to pop in today and tell y'all this is a word that I actually was led to give on my uh, my podcast. If you have not followed my podcast, I'm on uh, Apple, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Tidal. Um, no, wait. My songwriting is on Tidal. I'm sorry. But yeah, Spotify. Um, help me out, y'all, if you know me in the chat. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um Apple podcast and iHeartRadio and the like, things like that. Anyway, you can get the link in my comments in the, excuse me, in the comment description, and then you can, uh, you know, log on from there. But I had to just get on here and bless somebody today. Okay. I just had to, I gave this word in the first season of my podcast in 2017. It's 2022. I started my podcast this year makes five years. Okay. And I'm definitely going to celebrate because I just thought about that. Y'all, I think my surprise is going to be something that is an extension of the current podcast, but I'll keep y'all posted on that. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to reaffirm this word. And I definitely sat with God a minute. I was like, Lord, I feel like when you gave me this prophetically a while ago, that there were some things going on at the time that I know you wanted me to give his on time words back then. And the Lord just kept telling me, no, 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 no. You need to say this again. You need to say this again. You need to say this again. And believe it or not, it's about five more of these words from years ago on my podcast. I have to remix and bring them back because for some of you, you didn't even, you know, know who I was at the time. And I wasn't even on this platform like that back then. And for, for others who were following me, the words are going to be coming to pass for you in this season, right? So with that being said, I want to tell you guys that this is called affirmation assassination. So basically what this is, is when someone is literally assassinating everything that God affirms. Now, I'm telling y'all right now, I might be choosing violence for some of y'all right now. I'm not trying to choose violence because <laughs> I know some of y'all like to tussle. So look, <laughs> this is my disclaimer. I don't need nobody trying to tussle with me in my DMs and my emails and my comments because I will tussle back. Okay. So no, don't come for me. Don't come for your girl. Okay. And don't choose violence. Violence is not the key, y'all. Don't choose violence, okay? But I'm going to say these things, and some of you are guilty of them. Even some of you listening who make six and seven figures. Even some of you listening who don't have a penny to your name. Even some of you listening who are comfortable and living great. Some of you who have everything and have nothing. It's, this is going to affect many people. Despite how successful some of you may be, and despite how unsuccessful you may feel, despite how validated you may feel, despite how unvalidated you may feel. Because let me tell you something about affirmation assassination. Anybody can do it. And it's simply the slip of the tongue. Okay? So let me break it down. Some of you have been saying things that are counterintuitive, counterproductive, and they keeping you outside of the things that you really want. It's one thing to create a goal. It's another thing to create a system, but you could have all of that going on. But if your words don't match your mind and your actions, it all has to be hitting on all cylinders. If all of that don't go together, then you're still not going to get the results you want. And if you do, it's going to be temporary because you can build it with your hands and destroy it with your mouth. That's a word for somebody. You can build it with your hands and destroy it with your mouth. Trust me, been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. Okay. So let me tell you, it's important that you pay attention to, th to things like this. Some of you ladies and some of you gentlemen too, but this is more for my ladies right now. Oh girl, you are so beautiful for real. Oh, you think so? Oh girl. Okay. Come on. Y'all listen. Affirm that and say, thank you. I appreciate it. You can say, just receive the compliment. Don't assassinate it. 
don't don't kill don't kill the vibe, y'all. Like don't don't what what the kids saying? Don't kill the vibe. Don't kill the blessing. Don't kill the person affirming you and letting you know, like, hey, like you're beautiful, you're wonderful, you're kind, you're this, you're that. Like, stop doing that to yourself. Now that's just an example. I was being silly, but let me get more serious with you guys. Some of you are genuinely called to be dynamic powerhouses. And you are saying little weird things that are literally keeping you from what God has for you. Okay, now watch this. There's some of you who know that God is showing you you're going you're gonna to endeavor this big venture, right? But then you get on the phone with a small-minded friend of yours. They're a friend nonetheless, but they're small-minded, but they're still your friend. You're talking to your friend and your friend basically says to you something that sounds like the opposite of you pursuing this venture. Okay. So let's just say God says, Hey, I want you to, I want you to pursue a, B and C. But when you start talking to that friend, that friend say, girl, I've been knowing you forever, girl. You know, you only do a girl. You do a real good. I know B and C are right, but you do a real good. That doesn't mean that that person is negative And it doesn't mean that that person is bad. It doesn't even mean that that person is wrong in their own opinion, but you can assassinate the thing that God is trying to give to you if you agree with that. You cannot affirm the things that are sent to assassinate the purpose and plans that God has given you for your life. You cannot do that. You have to pay attention how sometimes you are indirectly and even quietly self-sabotaging yourself by affirming the assassination with your own words coming out of your own mouth. I am specifically speaking to people, not people who want to wear a victim hat and be in a victim mentality where everybody did you something and he did me this and she did me that. And it, mm -mm, no, this is not other people's fault. What I'm talking about now, when other people tend to talk to you and they want to dream kill. If you allow those people to dream kill you, then you, you're going to have to work on taking up for yourself. But this is not about what other people are saying about you. This is about what you are saying about you. And this is about you standing firm. This is about somebody like myself who has a goal right now that is so big. It is literally impossible for me to do it by myself. Okay. Do you have a goal right now that is literally impossible for you to do by yourself? I don't want a goal that I could just do it. I could be like, Oh, put it in my hand. It's done. I don't want a goal like that. I don't even, I don't even want to dream like that anymore. And what the enemy does is he looks for people who want to live like that. He looks for people who only wants the work of their hands blessed. He looks for people who are, who are, who are hell bent on. I did this. I put this together. He's look, he's on the prowl looking for people like that. And so what he does is he grooms people by what they say. He grooms people by what they say. He manipulates people and put them around other people that make them think how they think with kingdom minded thoughts and God like thoughts and God like character. He disguises that because y'all have to remember something about to bless somebody's soul. All the enemy does is takes the truth and pervert it. So a lot of times people are leading and representing with things that are not things of God. They're not things that he wants because at the end of the day, the enemy will take something that sounds, uh, that he knows is absolutely and specifically true of God. And he'll take it and say, you know what? Let me put a little, mm, let me go put lipstick on a pig. God made a pig and he made a pig to be a pig, but I'm going to put lipstick on a pig. So the person could think the, the pig is cute and then they could do other things with the pig that they're not supposed to be doing with the pig. Y'all follow what I'm saying? So you have to make sure you are allowing yourself the opportunity to affirm the things that God is trying to send to you and not assassinate the things that God is trying to bring to you. Because listen, we can be our own worst dream killers. We can be the ones that say the things that are just contrary to what God has. Let me tell you one of the worst things. I'm going to give y'all a few scenarios and I'm not going to keep y'all long, but thank y'all again for stopping by. Thank y'all so much for joining me. 
I'm going to finish up this prophetic word, but make sure you like, subscribe, you share, you make sure you go hit the comments. Y'all get my journals for your girl. Come on now, y'all run it with me. I got you. Let's get the journals. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. I'll take care of it. We will work in progress with all of that. I want to make sure too that I'm helping you guys. I want to make sure that if you need to talk, you need to chat it up or you need me for any other product or service. I got you. If I, if I don't have it, I can lead you in the right direction. Okay. Just want to put that disclaimer out there. Now, back to the rest of the tea. Here is the thing that you really have to understand moving forward. Okay? You really have to grasp this. Okay? What is ahead of you and what is in front of you? Okay? What is already in in, in the in your view? Let me say that. What is in your view? Okay? Although it's in your view, it's not in your hand yet and you can't touch it. So in between the time of you recognizing that it's in your view and the space between what's in your view and you actually getting to that very thing that's in your view, that is a hotbed for the enemy because he wants to take that time to try to make sure that you kill all the dreams that it takes for you to get there so much so that you won't even get there. He will let that thing go from being into your view and to the, 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 to the distance and then it'll be invisible and gone because it's no longer in your view anymore because you've completely gotten distracted because when things come up, you're like, well, you know what? Well, I don't know if I can do that. Oh, well, I don't know how to do that. God said I was going to build the ice cream shop, but I don't know how to do that. Oh no. Okay. I don't know how to make ice cream. Oh no, it must not be it. Instead of saying, okay, God, look, you know, I don't know nothing about ice cream, but you said I will. You said, I'm going to have a multi-million dollar ice cream business. So I'm going to need you to show me and lead me and guide me. Now we know Jesus is not going to step down off a cloud and be like, Hey girl, go over here. But at least you'll have enough common sense to know, well, if it's ice cream, let me just look into all things ice cream. That's not even spiritual. That's practical. Just look into all things ice cream and you have to begin to walk that path to trust that God is going to get you there. Okay. So affirmation, assassination. One more thing to think about with this. You are so valuable and believe it or not, you were bought for a price. There's a price tag on your head. So you, that's why there's certain rules in place that God does not want you to partake in. It sounds fun and it sounds cute and it sounds cool, but you just have to make a decho- uh, you have to make a decision and you have to make a choice. Did y'all see how I was about to make the choice? <laughs> decision and choice. I almost made that one word. I think I might do that. I'm sorry. I'm silly, y'all. But yeah, for real. I, I need you to just understand. There's a price tag looming over you. The enemy don't go after people that's not valuable. Do y'all understand me? And if this is the thing, y'all, this is where this is why this message is so important. Affirmation assassination does not start out that way. Okay? It's like when when an enemy can see that God blessed a friendship or he blessed a relationship or he blessed a partnership or or people um working in a particular field or doing a particular thing, when he can see that, his main goal is to destroy that. He will bust that up. But the enemy cannot break up or destroy anything that God has already affirmed unless you go ahead and assassinate it for him. All he can do is just linger things and dangle things in front of you. But if you take the bait, It's affirmation assassination because now you are assassinating the very relationship, the very friendship, the very opportunity that the Lord has already affirmed. And now you're over here mad at everybody. But as soon as the enemy puts something in there in front of you to be like, oh, I don't like this. They did this. Oh, oh, oh. And and it turns into this big stupid thing. And then you start affirming it. Yeah, because I knew this. Oh, and then everybody looks stupid. The enemy won, dodo. Like this is the this is what he's saying. He said, "Hey, you dodo." He's looking at us like we stupid. No, you gotta take him. No, devil, you a dodo, not me. It's you, fool. It's not me. And that's the thing, y'all. He tries to put these words on us. He tries to uh, put us in a perpetual state of, you know, 
You're not a good person. You keep making the same mistake. You're never going to get this together. This is the type of thing the enemy does to try to make us betray ourselves and make us try to betray God, make us try to betray those who have trust in us. This is what it is set out to do. Now, let me be very clear about something too, because I've been mentioning the last few minutes a lot about what the enemy does and this and that. But let's just, let's just simplify this again. Only so much power. I'm only going to talk so much about quote unquote the enemy without circling back to let's take the enemy out of the equation. Are you making good choices and decisions? Are you understanding that it could be the enemy or it could be God trying to show you who people really are? Or could it be that you are not trusting in what you know you're supposed to be doing specifically for you? That you are literally allowing yourself to destroy. And again, that's our word. Assassinate what God has already affirmed specifically for you. This is what we have to get to. This is what you have to understand. And this is what you have to decide. You have to decide now or later. But you have to decide that if you... Y'all, did y'all just hear my voice crack? That thing went, eh. Did (laughs) y'all... I'm so silly today, y'all. Sorry. But if you want this to be, you know, your your choice, whatever your choice is, you have to decide now or later. But you have to figure out if you're committed to getting it the way you know it's going to be best for you or you want to be committed to the way that's going to make you feel good in your flesh. And I'm going to wrap up on this. Okay. Affirmation assassination is all also like um, over analysis uh, means uh, means paralysis or gives paralysis. I forgot specifically, but it's a Quincy Jones quote. Right. But basically, that's when you focus so much on something, you end up not doing nothing. Which I've been I've fallen victim to victim to that many times in the past. But I will say this. The reason why I'm making a comparison between the two is because it's simple. If you do one particular thing for a long time and you are expecting a change and you're expecting a different result, it's not going to happen. That's also out there with insanity, too. So you have to remember something. If death and life is in the power of the tongue, okay, and if God has given you something with life, the only thing that can be assassinated is something that's already alive. If you assassinate something, you kill it, you stop it, you end it. Okay. So let me tell you that again. So you, I need you to take that to heart. Assassinate, murder, demolish, destroy. Pick any word you want. Okay. Don't kill something that God brought to life for you. Because you are affirming it with things that are set to destroy it. Whatever that may be. If it's your marriage. Listen to the lady on here right now who just got on this YouTube and you listen to me right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You just got off the phone with your friend dragging your husband. Sis, you're going to have to stop. Because what you don't realize you're doing, you're creating a narrative about this man that you should be talking to the Lord about so that he can give you the actual narrative. Okay? That was specific and just came out of nowhere. You have to refocus and don't assassinate the relationship that God has already affirmed to you because you're not in the space that you like. You don't like what it look like. Don't throw the baby out with the bath water. And I don't care what's going on. This is specifically for this person who just did it. You just did it. You're going to know who you are. This is not for everybody. You're going to know exactly who you are. You literally just hung up the phone with them. You saw my YouTube pop up. And now I'm telling you, you need to make sure today is your last day doing that. Because what God is about to do in your marriage and how he's about to heal you and how he's about to bless you and turn this thing around, it is going to require you to stop being the one putting the bullets in the gun to assassinate the marriage that God blessed you with. I bet that was that on that. God bless you, sis. That just came out. But be encouraged, though. Don't be mad. Get glad. The Lord was excited. He wanted to make sure you caught, you, uh, you caught that. And to God be the glory. I don't know you. I couldn't have made that up. So I just wanted to be obedient. And share it. Okay. Um, Anything else I'm supposed to say? Okay. Yes. Another thing. Affirmation. Assassination. 
can be flipped around. So this is what I want to tell y'all because y'all know my line. I'm not going to leave you bleeding. You're like, okay, Ro, I got it. How can I start doing things so I'm not uh, killing my dreams? I'm not speaking, you know, I'm not uh, assassinating. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing the very thing you're saying. Well, I'll give you something. So every time God presents you with something that's bigger than you or something that kind of gives you pause and it makes you say, Ooh, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Or, oh, whoa, that's scary. I don't know. First of all, that's an excellent sign. Cause that means that you, you know, that means that it's bigger than you. And that means that you're going to have to stretch to get it. But that means the reward of it is going to be incredible and it's going to be fantastic. Okay. So that's a good thing. That's a wonderful, wonderful thing to experience. Okay. All right. Now what you want to do though, moving forward, you can make it a practice. And for some of you, I think depending on how serious you are about achieving the things that you have in front of you, I think you, it, it might serve you well. To maybe sit down periodically, even maybe a few times a week, and maybe write down some gratitude statements or write down some power thoughts or, you know, write down some things that really, really set yourself up mentally. Something that really can set you, set, excuse me, ugh, set you up mentally to really become in tune with the things and words that you say. So even on the inside, you are affirming them. And what I do, when I find some sta- some statements and some sayings that I like, I find scriptures to match. Because I tell y'all, in the word, the Lord exalts his word over his name. So that means that we can say thank you, Jesus. We can say I love you, Lord. But whatever he say in his word, that's what's going to be exalted. So I like to find a word to go with the words that I'm pronouncing and what I'm calling out. If it's just sometimes it's just a word by itself. But if I do put a power statement or something with it, I do that. To make sure that I don't assassinate what God has already affirmed. Okay, so I hope this helped you guys. Please drop in the comments if y'all have any questions. Um, Send me any information you have that um, you'd like me to share on an upcoming episode. I believe I asked you guys the other day. I want to be featuring some people on my podcast and I'll be asking different questions. So if that's something that you want to talk about, make sure you let me know. I have all my information at the bottom. Also, y'all, I have a free 10-minute um, consult. If you want to contact me, there's a link below for that, and you can sign up for that, and we can chat. Um, and also, uh, y'all just have an awesome day. Yeah, I just want you to have a really good day. My day started off a little rocky. It was, you know, you know it was a little rocky. But such is life, right? It's better now. It was good enough for me to get on here and make sure y'all got this good word. And just to remind y'all that you're dope. You're incredible. You are amazing. Yes, you are. I'm not just telling you that. Because let me tell you something. Even if I didn't believe that about you specifically, God believes that about you specifically. I'm just going to be honest. Because I'm not. Listen, God will always see you like that. Even when you don't see yourself like that, even if I don't, even if your spouse don't, even if your children don't, or your friends don't, God always sees you as incredible and amazing. So whenever somebody tells you that, just think about this moving forward. It is never, ever a lie. Because even if they're lying when they tell you, or even if somebody in the street, you, you know, you, you thinking and somebody in the street don't compliment you or whatever, guess what? It's still true to God. Total tangent, but I had to say that. All right, y'all. <laughs> um, that's on fire. I hope.